LPF Debrief. Welcome, fellow last places, to another episode of LPF Debrief, where Chris and I talk about comic books, movies, and TV shows. And on today's episode, we will be diving into Halo, episode five, exclusive to Paramount Plus. This episode was directed by Jonathan Lisman and written by Richard Robbins and Stephen King. I didn't forget this time, Chris. You see? Mm-hmm. I did a good job there. All right. I'm going to pat myself on the back. <laughs> and as always, guys, we're going to start the episode the same way we always do by shaming Yendi in. Because he's not watching the content we are watching, especially something like Halo. Shame. Shame. And as always, guys, there is going to be spoilers on this episode. And if you guys don't mind, like, subscribe, comment. Let us know how you guys felt about the episode. If you are watching it, put it down in the comments below. Let us know what you guys are thinking. So ne- without further ado, Chris, episode five, what would you think? Welcome back, Halo, <laughs> to what we wanted. <laughs> um, this episode was dope. I, I liked it. Uh, it definitely picked up from where we left off. Uh, it solved, I want to say, a couple of complaints that we wanted to see. So, but it did give me everything at once. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm fine with it though. Um, when we talked about like, oh, I want to see a grunt or a jackal, they just said, here is the whole lot, go. And I was like, oh, we're in this. Okay, cool. So the battle was cool. Uh, the fight, uh, the different fighting scenes were cool. It wasn't as um, video gamey as the first episode to me, in my opinion, which was fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, still don't see the point in the Madrigal thing because that just kind of felt like it felt like a commercial break to me every time. Like it would cut in the weird places and then we'd end up in Madrigal and I was like, OK, they're stuck in the desert. Yeah, okay. And then back to the fighting. It's like, all right, we're in. And it's like, oh, did you forget about these two? And it's like, still stuck in the desert. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> so, um, but overall, the episode was good. Um, we continue to get the story of Halsey being a bad person. Also, Keys is in, in this. Um, but this time, with this episode, I was all right with getting more details from them because it just showed like I like the whole um uh seeing the kidnapping aspect of it of just like John finding out like bro you took me you took these kids like I was a part of a whole nother thing and you guys just showed up you guys said I volunteered and all this other stuff so seeing more and more of it was cool and seeing Chief uh pissed at Halsey was cool did not like the whole and, and I think it's gonna change. Uh, Cortana just taking over and just shutting him down. She's like, "Yeah, that's it. Like I put him in a stasis. Like he's gone. That's it." And I think that's gonna change. So, but yeah, overall, I'm gonna say best episode so far. Better than one. I'll give it better than one actually. So yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, I think it. Yeah, I, I would have to rewatch one to to make that assessment. Uh, for me, uh, I like they did some great things in this episode. So I don't want to start off by saying anything negative. They did do some good things in this episode. The battle I thought was fantastic. Um, they showed us a needler explosion, which which was, was different. Amazing. This one was yeah. different because I was expecting like, oh my god! Like in my opinion, right? Mm-hmm. If I if I'm on the back of a warthog and I'm getting needles in the chest, I'm jumping out the warthog because I'm thinking. Oh, he's yeah. about to blow up this whole thing. But the fact that he just like gets shot, it does a small explosion, but he turns into dust. I was like, okay, yeah. I like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. and I think it makes sense because you're not going to have like this big explosion like, yeah. from these tiny needlers. So I was okay with that. Um, I thought the episodes pacing, like I said, I, I, I think I'm just going to have a constant issue with the pacing of this show because I feel like the first couple of episodes or the first, at least from two to four, essentially, I'm still trying to figure out why we need it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And I don't see, because this episode kind of reinsured that feeling in the sense of like, we saw what Halsey did in, in this episode and it makes sense on all the other episodes. Like, so that long drawing 
like yeah we didn't oh, need that we literally needed, like, needed this in the like, beginning yeah, and then you're if, like if okay. you would have just put this here or and like i said there's a just i feel like this could have been you know i think less is more sometimes <laughs> mm-hmm. and i think if they would have made this six episodes we wouldn't be feeling the same way because like think about all of the first of all uh my biggest thing would i you you have to that that whole qualm storyline and storyline yeah, story has stop, to go man. yeah like it's it's to the point where it's just like i'm rolling my eyes every time i see that <laughs> like see them on the screen because i'm not sure why they're on the screen like i like i, I don't have that sense of purpose especially now that we know both artifacts are no longer are magical yeah and maki like, went maki went and i'm thinking like went, my whole theory was like, oh, they're going to run into each other. And yeah. then I, and that would make sense. Cool. Whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, she's just like, I'm here. It's not here. We got to go. I know where it is. And then gone. Well, no, she, she went there. I know why she went to Madrigal because it, she says it. She says that, oh, it's okay because even though it's not here, we can still sense it. Yeah. And like, you know, I mean, draw power from it so we can figure out where it's at. So, okay, that makes sense. But like you said, they didn't meet. They didn't do anything. So what is the point of Sworn and and and, and uh, Qualm's character? Mm-hmm. Like I'm I'm not seeing what the goal is. Like what are they going to do? I know they're going to force them into putting like, are we going back to Madrigal? Like is is Halo and Mat- <laughs> like Master Chief going back to Madrigal? If not, then we seriously are going to have no purpose besides trying to build a story that I feel consensusly and again. You guys can prove me if I'm wrong. Care about that storyline. Like, I, I just don't see it. Like, you know what I mean? And this is not anything against them or against, the, the you know, the characters. I mean, the actors or anything like that in that sense. I just, I love when characters, when you make a sense of the characters. And all the characters that I feel that people do care about were in this episode. And... And we're on, um, I forgot what the name of the planet is, Edril, whatever, oh, yeah, wherever yeah. the artifact is. But most of everyone was on there, like Pete, like Kai's character, who I think they're doing a great job with, right? Like, I think it's good that she's having these feelings and having these questions. Um, I think it's cool that she's, you know, wanting to figure, like, obviously she followed what Master Chief did and, like, you know, is also getting that sense of emotion that Soren talked about. I think that's the only thing that Soren like has contributed to me as far as the show goes, like is letting him know about the pellet thing. Like, you know what I mean? After that, I just, the, the whole qualm storyline to me, it just, it just doesn't seem like it fits because what's like, even if she does figure out a way to fix all of this, what, what, how does that progress or change anything that's going to happen on Halo? It's not like she's just going to magically start getting ships to be able to fight Halo. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Even when we think like in the future and stuff. So I, again, I'm just not sure about that whole storyline. So for me, it kind of is off putting. I thought it was like also it, and then it just doesn't make logical sense either. If you're in a desert, you're trying to conserve your energy. Like why would you be moving a motorbike in the hot sun when you have no water and you have no idea when you're going to be getting water? You had like, at that point, you didn't know that you would be able to break the handcuffs. Like, you know what I mean? And you don't know how far you are from actually getting any other water. So I, I'm not sure, like, again, just from that, like, a logical standpoint, like, why she would even do that. And then, you know, she did the whole thing. Like, now we, you know, ended where it looks like she might shoot him. And, like, we know that's not going to happen. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we know all of that. Like, it I, again, uh, to me, it just didn't feel... It doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel like it should be part of the storyline. Like, I agree with you. It it just feels like every time we cut to them, we're just cutting to a commercial inside of the show. Yeah. And, and I like, feel like, I also feel like they're going to, they're just it, like, it, this is what's going to piss me off. They're going to leave, Ma- I feel like they're going to leave Magical, right? To meet up with Chief for some random reason. And then they're going to be in the fight. And I'm going to be like, why? Yeah. Why? What was the point of all of that then? Yeah. <laughs> to go it's there and be-, be like, oh, we failed. And then we run into Chief and it's like, oh, hey, it's John. Oh, there's yeah. Covenant here. Oh, let's get in this. <laughs> yeah. Like- <laughs> so, I, I mean, for me, it's just, again, I, I want it to make sense. And uh, to me, that storyline just isn't there for me. But going back to, you know, we find the art, the second artifact, um, Chief is starting to question a lot of things. 
Um, again, love the fight scene. I, I just feel like they're, and again, I'm going to complain about this throughout the whole season every time they do it. Stop showing his face in the middle of fights now. Like, now you're just showing his face for no reason. Like, you're literally, you haven't given me the reason on why you're showing your face. I've already accepted that you're going to show his face. But when he's fighting, don't show me his face. Like, I don't want to see that angle where I'm no longer seeing the battle and I'm just seeing his expression. Why? I don't like, know why they, they're afraid of... Uh, it feels like they're afraid that we're not going to understand the emotion, even though that Mandalorian came out. Like, we've seen it done. So it can, what, it'll work. Remember, but, I said that earlier in one of our episodes. Of, I think it's of of episode one where you're that, like, they're just going to yeah, continue to... yeah. They're, I said that, listen, they... Paramount, like Paramount, ha is a older, like older crowd, like older, like production team and stuff like that. So they, what they're doing is they're babysitting and assuming that the audience isn't smarter than what they are. So they feel like, oh, you need to see him angry in order for that emotion to be expressed. And I don't think that's true, like at all. I feel like the body language is perfect. The context, as long as you've written the story correctly. It's all going to be make sense, and people are going to understand. Okay, he's upset because he's been lied to this whole time, and he can express that emotion through the suit. We don't necessarily have to see him doing being upset or being like, "Oh, here, you know, here's this whole thing." So I, I just feel like we could, we don't, we we still, to me, I don't feel like we needed to see his face, and and okay, I've accepted that you showed it. Don't show it to me when we want Master Chief to be Master Chief. Like, we're finally getting the moment where he's fighting again, and you're going to still cut into a camera of the inside of his helmet. For what? For what? For what? <laughs> like, he's fighting. We understand. He's going through emotions. We can adapt. We can relate to Master Chief because we understand, okay, hey, he's got his feelings now. So the fights are going to be different. But we still don't need to see his face. And if you want to show his face, show it after he take like, you know, after the expression or stuff like that. I just don't need to see his face as much as they, I feel like at this point, they're just forcing it to us. And they're like, here, just accept that we showed his face. Like, we just accept that we showed his face. And it's like, it's just like a major push. Like, you know what I mean? And I, I don't feel like it's necessary. So um, I do like, again, I'm, I'm, a, I do like what they, the, the, the Halsey scenes, right? With her the and his daughter. And the, um, I do a, like, see what's going on there and i think that they can push that story to like you know have some real effect and obviously halsey's just going to end up as the person that everyone tries to essentially be like no you're doing this wrong it's messed up like i know that these spartans now have like you know a heart um i did think it was <laughs> funny when um when kai was talking to what's his name the other Spartan. Oh yeah, I was about to say yeah. that guy is an asshole, man. Yeah. Like, he, he was he's like, like, <laughs> like you just asking me these dumb ass questions. I was <laughs> yeah, like, damn. Like, yeah, <laughs> and the, like he has the one eye closed the whole time. He's like, mm, just, get away from me. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, wait, what? I was like, I was like why are you chill so out. angry? Yeah, yeah. Like, I just, I just want to know why you're so angry. Like, it doesn't make any yeah. sense. But um, you know, she, but she again. She's trying to figure out what's going on. She's getting this these whole wave of emotions. And for Chief to, and I get Chief trying to protect her and being like, you know, you're not cleared. But also, you can't, how are you going to say that when you've also did the same thing she did? Which I'm glad, never, I'm glad she's the one that's mm -hmm. challenging it. And even Cortana comes up and she's like, you yeah. know, a little bit of um, pushback is good mm -hmm. for a yeah. team. For, for and a team, I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, cool. So I hope... That in the if there is a second season, right? I hope we do see more of her. I ended up really mm -hmm. liking her as a character. I like having her around. Um, mm -hmm. The other two Spartans, they're cool to have, but at the same time, uh, eh. <laughs> well, it's because again, they they so they don't have their emotions, right? Yeah. So they're supposed to feel robotic, and I think they're doing a good job as far as keeping that what yeah. that's supposed to be, right? So I'm okay with them being in the show for what they're doing because that's that's what they're meant to be there for. I'm not, like, I don't have a problem with that. I think having Kai have her feelings and emotions, it makes sense because now you have someone else who can relate to Chief and someone that now Chief can relate to also. Like, 
hey, you you're going through something similar than I am. I am having like a little bit more because I'm finding out this whole backstory about myself. But like you do have now Kai to ground him and stuff like that. What I and I thought it played off well and made sense because obviously when she's getting shot, like she's getting overwhelmed, right? Which she would not have if she didn't take out the pellets. Yeah. And I think that in a sense makes it cool because it's like, okay, so this is how this is affecting you in battle, but also you don't have Cortana. So you're not going to be able to do the same thing that Chief um, Chief is able to do, even though like and plus, you know, Chief is obviously a higher rank anyway. So like imagine, you know, he's able to control like even though he's fighting, he's able to control his emotions and, and stuff like that. But for Kai to be expressing her emotions, even without Cortana, it uh kind of, you know, it makes it make sense that she would kind of like just feel overwhelmed while in the middle of the fight. So. I thought that was cool. I thought um, I agree with you when you said that I didn't like the whole shutdown thing where like she's just like like Cortana shut him down. Like I, I just I mean, I, I get that, it. They're which, trying to show Halsey like, uh, you know, freaking out about that. You, it, they mentioned it, how she always has to mm-hmm. have control. And that's mm-hmm. the first time that she saw like I might not I can't control the situation anymore. Yeah. So whenever you hear her scream Cortana and she yeah. shuts him down, I'm like, OK, well, and yeah. that's why I well, wish that, you know, I mean, can, if if they kept the helmet it. on, right, and she's in the suit, power down the suit, that yeah. I'd understand. But now that exactly. it's inside and all this other like stuff. Like, nervous it's all, is, like, like it's yeah. just, uh, again, that's why I said I didn't like that decision. Um, Just keep them in. You could have shut down the suit. And then, again, it's not that you don't, you could have still had that conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Where you could have been like, shut down the suit. You have, you know john in stasis and then you just have the conversation like okay like why did this happen why'd you do this and i think that would have been way better of a conversation than having to deal with qualm and soren story like i just feel like that should even in this episode which is with the shortest one 39 minutes i think was the runtime there was something like that was like yeah it actually felt like (laughs) yeah it was a shorter it was the shortest of the episodes if um so um i feel like you know your the time is precious and you could have put in that those situation. You could have put in like a conversation there, like, "Hey, this is why I did what I did." Like, yeah, we would have still seen her as a, you know, a messed up character or been upset with her. But we obviously she's going to have her reasoning. And then for us to kind of like drag this on again, like I said, like the pacing is always going to be an issue for me. Like we're kind of dragging this just to say, "Hey, he hasn't. She hasn't told him anything because the next." four episodes that's what we're gonna do so it's like okay <laughs> you know what i mean like I, I don't want anyway but also, after he wakes up yeah go ahead oh uh, i was gonna say real quick uh uh for the engineers audio engineers on this show right if you have a yeah. high-pitched scream maybe think about that some of your viewers might be watching with headphones on because yeah. i felt the exact same pain when he yeah. drilled through the thing and that thing yeah. started, I literally went like, ah, <laughs> like, yeah. it was like, I was watching it at work and I was like, Jesus, I mean, I'm, I'm cool. I'm in the scene now, but at the yeah. same time, I was well, like, I'm I don't, can't hear anything. I, yeah, anymore. I don't want that. <laughs> um, and also I was going to say, uh, I, I am starting to, uh, the more we see keys, right. How much of a pushover he is. And I know his daughter's like, what does she have on you? And all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm sure we'll find that out later on. Um, uh, I, I all I keep thinking about is is the first Halo when the floods show up, and you had that moment with Captain Keys, right? And mm-hmm. and he's stuck in, inside. Spoilers for the game, okay? I'll give you a I few mean, seconds. It's I'm just saying. Years. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, when he's stuck and he and you see the flood took over and he's in that mm-hmm. pod, it, and it's that moment of like, dang, I couldn't save the captain. Yeah. But now I'm th- I'm thinking like okay if that moment happened right now I'm like all right good riddance see yeah. <laughs> like you know what I mean mm-hmm. so I I've been getting that and then um, also I had the question of uh, when Maki did her first crash land so she does the thing again where she's like I'm helpless help me mm-hmm. you know all this other stuff do they not know about the first ship like how did they cover th- did they cover that up well did she cover that's it up? the thing. Yeah, but remember they had no like video evidence or anything that happened on the on ship. On the ship, yeah, they just yeah. know someone like 
they're going to assume that covenant took it over. Okay, so they do know a, that the ship is gone. Okay, yeah. that's what I was making sure. I was just like, yeah. hold on. <laughs> they're not so. going to assume a human person did it. You know what I mean? So I, I think that's what they're using on there. And then, I mean, just to go to that whole, you know, get to that point, too, where they are doing that whole fight scene. And um, I did adore. A, 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 there was, like I said, there's the the there's some things that that I really made me happy was definitely the sound effects of the all the guns. Battle rifle sounding like a battle rifle. Like um Except the for the end sound. there. Except for the end huh? there. He put it on yeah. full auto with that. Yeah. I was like, okay, then, I'll give it to yeah, you. Yeah, I was like, all right, I guess. <laughs> Gotta sniper give rifle. Yeah. So I know I go sniper rifle. The um blade was perfect. But I would say, and I I mean I'm just gonna probably just like pretty much my favorite thing that happened was the hijacking of a banshee. Oh, because yes. it looked so cool because he like he was literally like look i'm gonna i have to go save her I, I, I can't let her die which is what you know everyone was worried about that he would start making decisions and not follow exactly what the um the mission plan is which again i do like because that is more of chief anyway like he's not gonna just let someone die to you know to recover whatever artifact or whatever he needs to do i mean that's the chief we know like he would pull off that stunt that we just saw just to go save someone but i thought it also set up a great scene too because he does the the, the hijacking and then he kind of like turns into it and then blows everything up i mean i think and we'll then, get a full because he doesn't get inside of it he just like no 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 like, yeah he yeah, just i don't like think he knows geared. yet how to how to yeah. do it um yeah. so yeah. it is cool because uh, like he he does he doesn't like fully hijack it but you could already see the animation of what the hijacking looks like and then how he pulls out the gun and then he shoots like it was really cool and then that whole crash was awesome and then the, the grunts and everything just kind of like well the grunts taking like, over that grunt. war hog and he's yeah. just like and you hear the i forgot what he says but mm -hmm. you can start hearing talking for and they mentioned that they're like grunts yeah. say weird things in mm -hmm. the show they say it and he well, takes over and i liked yeah, yeah and i liked the gimmicky like it was cheesy but mm -hmm. i was like yes more of this and that's whenever yeah. He like the grunt takes over and then chief comes up and he's like, I'll take that seat. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I like yeah. this more of yeah. this, please. <laughs> more of that, please. But, um, yeah. So that, that like, they, like I said, they did some really good things in this episode. Um, and then the whole scene where the, he fights the brute with the, the, the hammer. Yeah. I didn't think <laughs> brutes were going to come into play just yet because they weren't. I mean, if you follow like, the thing is, again, there's we're in a, this weird timeline because yeah, we're not sure it's its own if they're thing. trying to make it a prequel and then, like, say the rest of the games are canon or are they just trying to say, here's, like, you know, I mean, here's our version of Halo in totality. So we'll, once we figure that out, then we can know um, what the real pace, I guess, is. So, but the whole, I, I thought that was awesome, though. Like him he looked great. fighting. Yeah, he looked great. awesome. He, the sound effect with the armor was back. When it automatic, I love that it automatically uh, put his armor down to zero. Yeah, like you know what I mean. So I thought they did some some really fun things there. And then obviously he does the whole fight scene. Um, again, didn't need to see all that facial expression. And for him to like just lose it, uh, I'm I was okay with. I I don't think we needed that part. I don't think that was necessary. It's kind of like I I again, it makes sense just because he would have been going through a ton of emotions, and that was like an adrenaline dump for him at that point so um i thought that was you know interesting and then my thing is we get to the end of the episode obviously where maki like crash lands and whatever um he she crash lands and then like he takes off the helmet and then here's my thing again why is he taking off the helmet there's a whole battle situation that just happened and you don't know if there's still snipers are on there so what was the point of him taking off his helmet? It makes no sense. Like he would have gotten shot if you know what I mean. Like I just don't get it. But whatever. We he finds Maki. Maki's still doing this damsel in distress act, uh, maybe to get closer to Chief to figure out what's going on there and ultimately try to kill him. Also, so, her line of like, make it look good, and then she gets yeah. him. She's like, Ugh. and I'm like, oh girl. Like why are we being dramatic? Also, like what do you mean make it look good? What do you what does that mean? Like, like, yeah. like what, the, what, what are we making look good? Like the, the fact that the, you fell out of the sky, like <laughs> she just wants me to push this button, right? That's 
Yeah. Was she, oh my god, did that just push, am I supposed to be doing something else here? Yeah, brute or a grunt, just like uh, what? What did she mean by that? So, uh, but like I said, overall, I, I like I said, I'll, I'll watch episode one again. I think um, this had better. I def, I definitely think the fight scene was fantastic. Um, I, I, I did enjoy a lot of things on this episode. I just think again. <laughs> If we could just get rid of the Quam and Soren storyline, I think I'd be okay. Dude, because like I said, we just kept popping back, and they were in the same area, and it was just For like the whole time. Cool, she's they stuck. Spent the whole episode in the same t- in the same the same area. It just showed th- three, I think, two different clips first of her struggling with the with the handcuff on yeah. and screaming, and then it would yeah. cut back to Chief, and then it would cut back to her of just like. That, that's like, how okay, I, I felt it. watching She's still those there. scenes. Actually, <laughs> the expression she was making was how I felt about watching. Them. Yeah, I was, so. <laughs> I was just as fu- frustrated and furious. Oh my gosh! So, I'm I telling mean, you, they're gonna randomly show up. I did think real quick. I did think um, I was gonna see the Pillar of Autumn for some reason. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Whenever I thought, uh, uh, what's Keys' daughter's name? Um, yeah, I ju- I drew a blank because I don't. Remember. Yeah, I but I, whenever she's on the ship, she's like, "Oh, we got to put it on her ship, like mm-hmm. get get the artifacts of her ship." I'm thinking, um, "Oh snap, we're about to see the Pillar of Autumn," but I, I'm pretty sure they're. Go- I I feel like we're gonna see that ship maybe at the end, because uh, mm-hmm. I feel like when we see the Pillar of Autumn, that's gonna tell us okay, Halo's about to start, um, or them going to the ring is going to start. Uh, also, I'm Miranda. excited. What's up, Miranda. Miranda? Miranda Keys, yeah. Which I don't think that's her name in the game either. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Um, but also she or Maki, I can't wait to see because she has some powers as we can see. So I feel like they're going to have that fight. And I also think that um, I don't think Halsey makes it at the end of the season. Oh, I, no, no, no. I, I don't I, think so. Because I think you have to get rid of Halsey in order to really establish Cortana and Chief's relationship. Yeah, because, because then the whole time you're like, you're gonna think like, okay, well, the whole while Chief is doing something, she's back mm-hmm. here backstabbing everybody. Yeah. So and it's just gonna get annoying. It's just like, okay, we had this whole season about her. Mm-hmm. Get rid of her. Spartans are definitely. free, and then they're, we're gonna go do our thing. So yeah, yeah. I definitely think there she she's not making it by the end of this because, like I said, it it does um it do, it hinders the real relationship between chief and which we're starting to get more of which i do enjoy like just the back talk and the funny banter between them is always great um and it's then sass. even she's starting to now question things because when he asks about the whole spartan spartan project and like why aren't there any files even though you have all the files and she's like i don't know like like and i don't think she's doing the i don't know as as far as like oh i don't want to tell you yeah i think she genuinely just doesn't know why there isn't any files and I think she's starting to see that um, that side of what Halsey was doing too, like as being a bit questionable. So I think, um, yeah, I agree with you though. I think Halsey doesn't make it because I feel like it 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 will hinder the relationship if we continue with her after the end of the season. I think. Plus, I mean, you want to you do want to build Miranda's character more anyway. So I think Halsey like will have this season about Halsey, and then after that we can. She, I think she'll be done. So. We'll see though. Um, but before we go, favorite part of the episode? Favorite part. Uh, also, uh, real quick, I wanted to mention a throwback to the video game. Uh, to me, I think was uh, whenever they're all running, the Spartans are out there. The the fight first starts, and he gets the Cortana gives him the objective in the middle of the mm-hmm. fight, which happened yeah. a lot in the game. It was just like boop, and it's just like. Mm-hmm. We got to get this, like, you know, so whenever she's like, oh, mission is we got to get the artifact and he's in the middle yeah. of it. I'm like, OK, this brings me back into mm. the game because that happened all the time. She's giving the updates. Yeah, um, I do like that. He was like, I know how to play the game. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> he's like I get I it. Like that. Um, but my favorite moment or my favorite part of the episode was just the rush scene, like them sitting there and like, um, you know, something, you know, something's entered. And uh, he knows he's about to, they're about to get ambushed. And you see the ships drop, seeing all the jackals and grunts drop yeah. down and then seeing the Marines go at each other. I was like, mm-hmm. this is this is really cool. So that was probably my favorite moment. Instead of just seeing elite, I thought I totally thought I was just going to be a whole nother elite thing where yeah. all the elites just drop down and they're mowing down people. But no, mm-hmm. they sent out everybody. So and I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I, I thought so, too. Uh, my favorite part, like I said, was the Banshee. The Banshee scene, I just thought that was a really cool moment. It, it gives that th- 
throwback feel to everyone who's played the games and who has enjoyed stealing banshees so <laughs> i just think that it was cool that you know like i said they are putting some really cool features in there that um do give homage to the games and i i, I do appreciate those things so for me that was my favorite um i did really enjoy the the fighting scene i thought it was fantastic i thought it was well made um and i i obviously that's what i want to see more of and if you know if you just shorten the season i think you would have gotten like the fight scenes wouldn't feel as far apart from each other and it wouldn't be as big as of of an issue but um but yeah the banshee scene was totally my favorite so all right that is going to be the end of the episode Guys, thank you for joining us. Again, if you like the content, please hit like, subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought of the episode. We would love to see what you guys think. Um, also, we are, we'll be back on Tuesday for the show. So come join us for that. And then obviously next week, we will drop uh, the next episode of this until it ends. So thank you guys for joining us. Until next time, Fire Team.